Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss about Ajax. Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Ajax is basically fetching the data from the database and setting the items of a page with a value or doing some PLSQL code, some database stuff without having to submitting the page actually. So it doesn't submit the page but it uh, fetches data from the uh, from the database to the page or it does something, uh, some DML operations on the database. Uh, you know, uh, we discussed about dynamic actions earlier. In the dynamic action, uh, we actually do the same. As, as up to Apex 3.2, uh, there was no option for dynamic actions. At that time, doing uh, this kind of stuff, uh, you must uh, have to have uh, JavaScript. But today, this uh, capability is uh, pretty much taken care of by the dynamic action. But still, you might uh, need your own customized Ajax also. Uh, so we're going to discuss about Ajax today. Now, you see what is the... Uh, page lo today look like our uh, first job is a very simple we're going to uh, set the value 10 or something like that here and then a tab then this department name will be uh, populated in the department name field this is a simple simplest of the form we're going to test first and then we're going to uh, go to complex dis discussion so to do this to set only one item, we, we have to do not a very great deal of work. We have to do a very simple thing. So we're going to begin with the simple one first. So now to begin with the uh, Ajax calls, we will have to we'll have to have basically two things. Number one is an application process that is the database database side PLSQL that will push the data from server to the client and JavaScript version. The JavaScript will uh, catch that data from the server and then it will render the value on the uh, item so this is the this is basically what you have to do so first let's create the application process so to do that you will have to go to the shared component now application process click on application process there is no process here we're going to create a new process here mm, get name for example this name is get name and it will be on demand run application process when requested by page process. This is, this must be the type you have to select. The point, the point of uh, process is the on demand run this application process when requested by page process. We have to remember this. Next. Now you will have to have the code. You see, we are going to change a little bit here department sorry department name into vd name from departments departments for department id is equal to this department id equal to application underscore apex underscore application dot g x zero one g underscore x zero one now you have to take care of this item very carefully in our earlier javascript calls we used to use an application item but today in in the new process in apex apex dot server dot process javascript call we're not gonna use that application item we are going to use this temporary item which will be set at javascript we'll we'll see that uh, in a moment you see we are actually de de selecting the department name into the variable from the table department where department id is this temporary value now what we have to do is just to do this http.p or prn whatever you do no problem http.prn this is the simplest of the example you can do this is a very very simple example remember this item it will be necessary for you in every place so our application process just ready next process have been created so far now we'll have to create a dynamic action 
the dynamic action the purpose of the dynamic action will be to execute javascript okay let's do this so we're going to create a dynamic action here on department id item so create a dynamic action dynamic action has been created so it's the name name is by default is new we will name it set value set name okay that was get name and now it is set name now you see here it is is called show action is called show we will have to change it to execute javascript code remember this one carefully the true the action of this dynamic action will be execute javascript code okay select it now we will have to write code this is our code it will be get name and the item will be two i was going to discuss this one here the port department id p2 department id text you see apex dot server dot process it is it is a javascript api given by oracle apex to oh, handle ajax call now what uh, it actually does is uh, this one is the uh, server process that we have written and the application process this is the application process name okay and then this is kind of json format in here this is the input you take x01 as in as an input you can take multiple input like this now it is the uh, value of the department id you see dollar v is a is also a javascript uh, api from apex it gets the value of the um, item and now this is the input of the x01 and data type is text and if the application process is successful then this function p data p data is the data that is uh, sent from the server and now you set this item to the data so actually what it does is it calls this function it takes input to this and it receives text type data and that data is this one and you may uh, name anything here no problem it is i am given the name p data here no problem uh, and if uh, this data and this fetching is successful then you set this item with this data okay this is the thing it does now let's check it if it is working or not now save it okay save now run let's see if it works does it work yes it's working okay if I give 220, yes, it's coming. You see, marketing 30. Okay, so if I give 30 here, the corresponding department name is being shown here. Okay, now let's make things a little bit interesting. You see this line here. Now let move it now we're gonna see see and now save it okay what this actually does is it is the loading indicator so it will it will show that job is being done underground and you can uh, wait until the job is done okay this is very interesting option of apex now let's run it again you see why it is done here because uh, while loading the page the dynamic action works at that time also we'll change it to others now let's do it 10. you see okay 20. see this is the indicator okay so it makes it very funny and in and very attractive for the user if you uh, use this so it is it is done so this is the very simplest of the uh, javascript calls in apex now we're going to change a little bit here in the dynamic action where we do not want this to be fired while loading let's change the dynamic action a bit mm.
you see fire on load option is been disabled so it will not give a funny answer now it will not show any uh, error when loading the so changes now now let's run you see yeah no problem now it's not firing on load you see 20 okay 30 same so our dynamic action and ajax is ready so thank you for watching thank you everybody